Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to some more video ball with myself, Dan Giesling, Bear Taffy, Isaac Baby, aka Northern Lion, and Rock Lee Smile you with me every time too. With wisdom teeth in. Yeah, in. you're gonna. Oh, yeah. Oh, so are like you gonna? Week. You're gonna be under, aren't you? By the time this one goes up, I bet. Uh, Monday, whenever that is, longer. we'll see. Yeah. My dentist actually yelled at me when I got my wisdom teeth out after he finished because I was so old finished. that he was offended. What? <laughs> what? Hold on. <laughs> Bring that back a couple steps. He yelled at you because you were too old to yeah. have been in there at the time, I'm guessing. Yes. There's risk of complications when you're over 30. Well, so if you like, can get them done earlier, your, do your early. teeth get like super implanted into the bone. Because, like, yeah. that's how the human body works. So he was yeah. actually, like, sweating and grunting, like, pulling my tooth out. And by pulling, oh. I mostly mean, like, smashing it into, like, 80 pieces and then picking out the... <laughs> I don't need to hear bad stories. You're going to be... It, like, millions of people get this done every year. You're going to be fine. I know, I know, I know. But, um... I'm nervous. Yeah, after we finished, he was like, you know, like, that really sucked. Like, you really should have gotten that done when you were, like, 16. What is that going to help? It's already <laughs> it's like done. He really just had to take out his frustration. He he was more polite about it, but it also, it really felt like victim blaming, because mine was yeah. actually fairly <laughs> painful, and I was like, damn dog, I feel like I should, I should be the one that's mad about this. And you're paying for it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he gave us a good deal, though. Wait, what did he yell at you? Did he raise his tone? No, he didn't raise his tone, but he, he's, uh, he's like an older Korean gentleman, and he's like, you know, I don't want to do an impression necessarily, but well, you, you have carte blanche. I don't think I have carte blanche. I don't think anyone on the internet has carte blanche anymore. You do. <laughs> okay, well you put it that blanche way. Blanche Garcia has carte blanche. <laughs> blanche Garcia. She does the uh, remakes of the Hotel Impossible. Oh, okay. I follow her on Twitter. She's very uplifting. Sorry, nice. go ahead. You know, nice. <laughs> Hold on, Ryan. I don't put you past like Richard Pryor. Like, you're an internet comedian, so like, if Richard Pryor would say something, you could say something. I don't think that's true. Because <laughs> Richard Pryor curious, said the said some things that I can't say, that's for sure. But he would impersonate, impersonate people of a different race. I'm not going to go down that road, Dan. That's okay. you know, not not because of the repercussions, but because I'm a man who's respectful of all uh, ethnicities, creeds, yeah, colors. Yeah, but it's not being disrespectful. It would be the way I would do the impression. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> <laughs> he's a very, very self-aware sort of no, not disrespectful person. Minute. I'll stay in my lane. Damn, I appreciate gotta... Dan, because Dan, he gets out the, the paint rollers, and he tries to paint you into a corner. You gotta no. do some, like, serious, uh, agility to get out of that painted corner. I think it's good Dan, practice. have you played Splatoon? Because I feel like it would be a perfect game for you. <laughs> I'm not trying to paint... I am not painting you for, um, negative reasons. I'm painting you for oh, entertainment yes. reasons. Because I imagine it's really funny. No, it comes from a good place. I know yeah. that. Like, it, if you were to do that, like, it would be really funny. <laughs> but you're, that was you're... so sincere. <laughs> But you're Switzerland, so you never would. Exactly. Win. Yeah. And I know that. Every what are these oh! gonna slip? I'm not gonna get it. What a get shot! You. Every Europe needs a Switzerland. I've always said. Uh, get in there! Get in there! Get in you got there. that. Nick. You got that. When I was at this, the oral surgeon getting the consultation done, he actually like every time he would go look at something in my mouth, he was like, "Who did that?" <laughs> and then he'd, he'd want to know the name of the dentist that did that. Yeah. And I'd tell him, and then he'd go, oh, I don't know him. And then by the end, he actually had, like, a serious, like, kind of a tone that was like, I'm kind of indignant that you got so much shitty dental work done. It's like, you know what, man? Me too. Because I paid thousands of dollars for shit that eventually is going to result in me paying more thousands of dollars. And, uh, yeah, I'm not thrilled with it. I, uh, I yeah, wish I could have started be. with the good dentist from the beginning instead of worked my way up the chain. Becky with the good dentist. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. I got a little double touchy in there that felt pretty good. I saw that double touchy. I was like, oh shit, Bears. He finally figured it out independently. <laughs> I didn't know they had dentists in the mountains. Nick. No, you gotta leave the mountains to go get them. You haven't watched the new Discovery Channel show, Mountain Dentistry? <laughs> Also, the ones in the mountains are apparently garbage because they fucked up my oh, teeth nice so much. Shot. I had one shot. root canal that I'd had 
retreated and like changed around and, and like cleaned out a bunch of times and I must have spent four thousand dollars on this one tooth over my whole adult life to now have it removed. No Dan Oh man. I tried. Man, I must have spent four hundred bucks on this. Just to be Just like to Kanye, be like... Ain't, you ain't up on this. He didn't say Kanye though. What he doesn't he say, say Kanye there. What did he say? He said something that Richard Pryor might say. <laughs> and would be within his rights to. Dude, I wish I knew all these hop hop hop. Hip hop references. Hop 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 <laughs> Fire me out of a cannon into the sun for that one, guys. Please. <laughs> Euthanize me right now. <laughs> I love that. I did. Oh, it hurts just as much to all of you and me. This has been a great match. We've been sort of uh, ignorant to it, but this has been a really close one. Yeah, instead of being a 10-5, it's on pace to be a 10-6. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, look at that. Rickley oh, smile, nice get that trash little shot. Dan, you're so cheeky. cheeky Dan's cheeky. learning, man. I'm a good sweeper. Oh, good shot. Thanks, man. I think you're gonna take the league by storm in about. Oh, days. almost crossed. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Tournament of shame in this game? Oh, it's gotta be. It'd be tough though. How do you control the teams? One one v one? Yeah, it's it's gonna be another Rocket League situation oh, because yeah. we've got you know like everybody who's played quite a bit already is gonna be dominant in the one v one. But well, I'm not worried so much about that, but just how they scramble the well, teams. You know, we could do WWE first and then get more time to play in this for a bit. Yeah, and then we'd have roughly even levels oh. of experience, which would be ideal. I didn't want you to be Nostradamus, but I guess you had. <laughs> Bear and Dan scare me. Bear because he's already got that Rocket League fire inside of him. Yes. I, even before you had the game I had him pegged, I was like, I gotta get good at this before Bear does, because he's gonna ramp up real quick. And Dan's got that, you know, he's looking at the playbook right now. He sees the X's and O's. I know that he's got that built-in sports intelligence that frightens me. So, I'm uh, I'm a little scared. I think you guys have great potential. I wanna see where Rob lands on this. Ready? It's time for video ball. Like, I feel like we could be sitting around my couch right now drinking some high C. You know, we <laughs> probably have like some, a lot of gel in our hair, maybe a Teenage Mutant oh, Ninja Turtles gel. shirt on. Well, we got some meatloaf, some purple stuff. Hey, Sunny D. Yeah. I want That's that meatloaf. I want some of that meatloaf. Do you bake in the ketchup on top or no? Oh, yeah. Oh, come yeah, on. Yeah, I'm in then. I'm in. It makes ketchup like a very, it makes it like flan, a very arrogant <laughs> meal. I heard you say that flan is an arrogant dish, and I felt like I needed to comment because I don't know that I agree. Okay, here's all you need to know. Can you get flan at uh, Joe's Diner up at the corner of Middlebury <laughs> and Fifth? No, 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 listen, man, I can, get flan, I can get flan at Beto's Burrito Joint in my town in like in, in Layton, Utah, okay? So that is not that is not an exquisite dish. Yeah, apparently flan is Mexican. I, never, I thought it was French. I thought it was French as well. No, it's Mexican. Many people commented and said it is a Mexican dish. Yep. Color but I don't see the arrogant food. angle because like, well, what do you not think arrogant. about tomato aspic? Do you think that's an arrogant food? But hold on, don't you have to use like a mini blowtorch to make flan? No. <laughs> That's a you're flambe. Thinking of, uh, yeah, you're thinking of creme brulee, dude. That's a flambe. <laughs> it's all the same. That's my beige, you my flambe. Nick. Yo, what? Enjoy. No. I'm already fired into the sun. What more do you want from me? Put me in a black hole then. Stretch me out into a single atom. Nah, Wait, that'd be bad. Speaking of black holes, Nick, what was that Twitter photo you put out yesterday? What? Oh, oh yeah, the, uh, the very sexual sex machine. Nature. Nintendo boy. That was pretty great. No, I'm not a sex machine. I'm, I'm a sex yeah, you... god. 20 oh, XX. Okay. I see. See, I think there's so... many layers to Nick. One of which, this, that, like, you'd be like, I would never picture Nick releasing a photo like that, but then you realize he is the freak. He is the freak. <laughs> <laughs> you maintain that. 
Well, Every I mean, time. you don't take a photo like that unless you've sent one like that very similar to a girl <laughs> before. No, I haven't done that. Nick. <laughs> Nick. Done We've all done it. I'll explain the origin of the photo, though, if you'd like. It's really pretty benign. That's um, not the first time you've taken a photo like that, though. It's almost... No, it is. Nick. Mm. Yeah. How are we Brian being very truthful? It seems like it's got to be uh, agree to disagree. <laughs> well, like, I know my own life. Mm, that's what a lot of people say. I, I think I know it a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Dan, we're gonna win this fucking game. We are. It'll be... We got it. We got it. We can get at least one round from these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime I don't see a smash punished, it just makes me, like, shake my head. We we'll gotta punish these boy. smashes, man. The double touchy is built for this. The reason you use a smash is when you have a clearing and you want to shoot it past everybody. Yo, there is no such thing as a clearing that's on. Just happened. On uh, smash mode, yeah. bear could have smashed. Oh. It. I'm shaking my head oh. as mentioned. Nice play. Got a moment. Oh damn it! Uh, you smash. Sneaky. <laughs> there we go. There we go, baby. Get that in there. Yo, baby, go. We, nice. we need that one, Bear. We need that one. That's all you. That's you. No, 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 Bear. You're not. Don't even. Yeah. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Team Dan Bear. Let's go. Let's go. Getting back into the game. That's Team like Danimals. A... Dan Bear pick. Danimals is good. I like Danimals. And Pretty all off of that box placement, huh? You guys Call have us my... Simba. Uh, not really. No. People used to call me Dickless a lot. Nicholas? Yeah, because Nicholas. Um, <laughs> that doesn't make oh, any sense. No, 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 no! <laughs> I feel like Bear's the kind of guy that had a Varsity jacket with his nickname stitched on the front. Nah, dude, that was a goof. That Whoa, a what, a, goof what a surprise, time. another 10-5 uh, game. <laughs> Good game. Me and Dan, like, every time we make it competitive and then all of a sudden everything just falls apart. Hey, you know what you guys should do with this screen right now? Just smash the button. It sounds like uh, an old 90s arcade game. Smash that like button, that's right. NBA, yeah. <laughs> NBA Jam. Are you doing also, it? Also, don't oh. skip because there's a ton of surprises throughout this video. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never believe. You'll never believe what happens at 1465. We've got a yeah. double elimination coming up. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> The loser of this game will be voted off the NLSS forever. Ooh, I'd what? say that that is like a net positive, no matter who loses, myself included. <laughs> I've been looking for my golden parachute. Ooh, where's the uh, where's the cutoff point for the NLSS? Where do you see it ending? Hopefully, oh, like, uh, real. I don't even want to talk about them. Hopefully, like at some point, I'll just win the lottery. Yeah. And yeah. then one day I'll just see a comment in chat, and it'll be like, "No, nope, that's it. I'm done. Sorry, <laughs> this guy ruined it for everybody." <laughs> and that'll be the and end I'll of the show. I'll get in the Discord room, and you just won't show up. And I'll just go live and think we're playing Isaac, and then that's a you. that's a beautiful ending, though, man. There's something poetic about that. No, it's gonna end with me on a beach in Cuba, sipping the mai tai. Mm -hmm. And I look over to Nick, who's sitting on the chair next to me, oh, and I'll thanks, say, I could get used to this. And then it <laughs> fades to black. <laughs> I mean, actually, that would be a lovely ending. And me oh, yeah. and Nick were hiding in a ditch from the cops in, the, in <laughs> South Central Los Angeles. I look over to him. <laughs> Nick's on my right. I say, I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> Fade to black. Created by Vince Gilligan. He's he's still doing stuff, isn't he? Yeah, Gilligan's Island. Yeah. What, I what's he was the... looking for that reboot? Ryan, is you missed a rock tinted? Is that the thing that bothers you most? Oh, dude, yeah, definitely. It's not the people who say, "Wow, this guy's a fucking moron." Uh, <laughs> how did he not understand this? Like, I actually think that NL has some kind of mental problems. Like, he should really go see a doctor. <laughs> I think he's having some kind of degenerative disorder. <laughs> Those ones, I'm like, thanks for being helpful. And then, people who are like, you missed the tinted rock, I'm like, oh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Fade to black. The rock, created by Vince Gilligan. Nick, you gotta, you gotta put those double biscuits in there. 
Yeah. We need you on this one, Nikolai. Nikolai Happy Bullen! Ooh, well, why yeah. is Nikolai Happy Bullen the hockey reference you know? Because it's the only Nicholas. Nicholas Lindstrom? Yeah, Nicholas Nick, Lundstrom. <laughs> Nick, Nick Cronwall. Eric Lindros, probably best hockey player of all time. Get in there, yeah! Dang. Bots. Oh, look, another 10 4 game! <laughs> 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 Eric Lindros is not the best hockey player of all time. He was one of the best looking <laughs> hockey players. <laughs> all right, well, you say so. I'm more and if your name is Jane Smith, congratulations, you've won our 15-minute giveaway for Video Ball Video 3. Cook, 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 call now. I won a radio contest when I really? was like 20. Oh, did you get to meet DJ Khaled? No, nah, it was like a really, <laughs> it was like just one of those things like, you know, call in and you'll win a free pizza. But it really like, if you're caller 8 or whatever. But again, in Canada, we got to do this skill testing question stuff. So what the actual contest was, it was live on air, is give us the wrong answer to each one of these questions. And it was, wow. in principle, the easiest thing of all time. But you know that, like, Tim and Eric sketch that's like, you know, tell me five things that are not Jackie Chan? Yeah. It was like that. They'd be like, <laughs> tell me five things you don't bring to the beach. And you'd be like, okay, well, uh, sandals, shit. No. Like, you actually got to be like, okay, uh, a, a Boeing 747. Maybe, okay, that's yeah. that's incorrect. Good. Like, you actually just, there's so many options that are correct that it's not possible to answer it easily. Yeah. The pressure of being live, too, and knowing, like, there's this weird challenge that you're going to feel really, like, a lot of anxiety if you screw it up. It was for that's a free pizza, man. I was in. It's, it's more about the people <laughs> listening, I would think. Hasn't stopped me on the NLSS. Did you win? Point. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, in the end, it ends up being pretty easy to just, you know, give you the wrong answers for a lot of stuff. All you got to do is pretend to be Mathis for 30 seconds. Nice. <laughs> I was wondering we were going to do we got our Mathis burnout. Yeah. It's been too long. Well, of course I won. <laughs> I'm sorry for assuming that you may have lost one thing in your life, Ryan. <laughs> oh, who do you think I am, Dan? You? Ooh. Ooh. Wait, is that an insult though? <laughs> he did come in second. He came in place. second once. What a loser. Although the community agrees that he probably should have won were it not right. for uh were it not for him already winning once. I feel like Dan is like the Rupert of Big Brother. Like everybody just decided he's supposed to win, so they made another show for him to win. But he lost. Except it went in it went in reverse for him than it did for Rupert. I like how Nick's one reality TV character he knows. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a lot of Survivor. Did you? Nick, can you give me your yeah. best rendition of the Survivor theme song? Oh, I haven't watched it in years though, so probably not at It starts point. with like <laughs> Oh, now I definitely won't be able to do it because I'm not going to get prices right Oh, we 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 Bear, how about you hit... Oh, we oh, we oh, we oh, we oh, we oh. Smash that rematch button, baby. Let's shoot for five likes. Hey, there's nothing wrong with with having goals, man. No, no, no. This is new music. Hot pants. All the music in this game is terrific. Yes. I really like it. Pretty good. Danny Baranowski, good job on the soundtrack. <laughs> I don't know if we Is can... it Danny B? No. <laughs> oh, I just oh. made up the first composer. <laughs> Come on, man. You can't do that to me. William Shakespeare. Thanks for the... <laughs> William Shatner. Who's the... William... The, uh... I meant to say Beethoven. <laughs> William Shakespeare. <laughs> See, the Mega Man soundtrack, Nick. You would know that. It's, uh... Cairo Sedra? <laughs> yeah, it's Cairo Sedra. Cairo Sedra with a cameo from Dose One. It's, uh, Benihana Japanese Fusion Grill. Wow, this guy will not impersonate his... his That's not offensive at all! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, how many people watching this would impersonate their dentist? I would. Mine says, um, mine uses a lot of Utahisms, is what I like to call them. So it's like where you'd normally just say a swear word, you replace it with some ridiculous nonsense. Right. Like, oh, like golden fetch. flowers. Yeah. <laughs> or flip, darn it. Why is your dentist so angry all the time? Like, <laughs> what's he doing? <laughs> he was making a lot of mistakes. <laughs> all right, we lost. What? That was, a, that was a bad game. <laughs> I'm surprised. 
All right, here's 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 a game you can play at home. If I win, drink eight ghost peppers. <laughs> and don't skip because there's gonna be a big surprise. There, you want to smash that like button one more time? I'm looking at our stats, man. Give us a second here to like enjoy the moment. I got 14 medium triangles. That's pretty good, man. I want one reversal. Listen to this. Look, you're still a little high on the slams there, but I'll allow it. Can you guys hear that noise? Yes. You guys smash your own like buttons on your videos? Because I know some people that would say that was like policy number one, and I never agreed to do it. Like, I never wanted to. What do you mean it's policy number one? Like, if you want to be a successful YouTuber, you've got to take every advantage that you, you can smash get. smash your own and like And one of those advantages face. is the ability to like your own video, so you should take it. I don't know who you're talking to that is driving a Lamborghini <laughs> in their own garage. <laughs> I don't know, but they had a lot of knowledge about the whole thing, so... Knowledge. Well, Ryan is responsible for the creation of Markiplier, so... <laughs> Dude, I don't know true. if I'd say I'm responsible. I'd say probably, like, his parents are... Maybe no, a, I'd say you are. We're tied. You gave birth to Markiplier. <laughs> I wish, man. That would make me one of the top, probably, like, 1,000 moms on planet Earth right now. That's such an honor! You I know! I was, that's, I was not being sarcastic! Yeah! Yo, hey we shouldn't everybody, judge. it's Saturday Morning Markiplier, here again! <laughs> I like him. Oh man, I like Saturday Morning Markiplier a lot as a character. I love horror games, and I'm gonna play them with you! I don't know why, Please. like, Dan, do you ever have to deal with this crab bucket shit in the world of being a reality TV superstar? Everybody always is like, I don't like drama, let me fire shots at other this YouTubers like publicly. There is really nothing! Fun. There is no ill will at all in Saturday Morning Markiplier. Zero. Yo, do you, do you have his written permission to do the impression? He's just a very enthusiastic, well, charismatic guy. That's the only reason I'm doing it. Just look what Ridden Permission did for Kanye West, huh? Oh, you know? that's why he Kim's got the him. tapes. You're, you're, I can't believe that Taylor Swift would expect Kim Kardashian to not tape a private moment. <laughs> Check this out, man. It's like, if, so when Ethan and Nia met, went to meet DJ Khaled, DJ Khaled was, was fine and happy with the, with the interpretations of himself that Ethan and Ia concocted. Are you, okay, hold up. He keeps saying I Ia. He keeps saying Ethan and Ia. Ia. Isn't it? That's like, a, that's like an Ia. old, like, Ottoman god. <laughs> Ethan and Ia. Okay, wait, no, correct me, because I, I actually don't Ethan know. Ethan and Ila. Ila, okay. <laughs> or, so... if you are one fucked up dentist. <laughs> Hilla. <laughs> Go so. Sorry, go ahead. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, like, if I if I met Markiplier, I would happily introduce him to our concept of Saturday Morning Markiplier. Yeah, I wouldn't feel too guilty about it, honestly. Would that be Dan, the first what thing have you, you done? done? Yeah. I wouldn't do that. See, what have you done Dan, there? Dan understands that, you know, even if you're not doing videos with him right now, maybe you'll meet him in the future. They'll be, like, good people. I'm not, yeah, that's exactly what, what I'm saying. Is like, I would have absolutely no problem with this. Fine. Yeah, I'm not, I mean, you're making it real now. I thought we were in the, we were doing a bit oh, for okay. a minute there, and now it's become a real thing, but... <laughs> Hope you guys get those ghost peppers ready, because we're going to win, boys! Uh-oh. You do have a small the, lead at it's, the moment. It's the slams. You can, you're you full-on in slam territory. I don't understand it. Just stop slamming. After you start doing double touches, you stop oh, slamming, me. and then that's the end of the that's the end of your first lessons as a video Slams. ball master. Slams still have their place in the world. Tostada, tostada. I'm becoming a liability. Uh oh. Ryan, who sang that song? Slam, slam, tostada. Uh, I have no idea. That sounds like one of those rappers from like this generation that I'm not aware of. I'm gonna say it's Young Cranberry. Well, actually, it's from the era of the Cranberries. <laughs> oh, really? From the zombie yeah. era? Yeah. It's Onyx. You never heard that? Nah, dog. Slam, slam, toaster. Have you guys ever heard that song? I've heard the part where you said, like, let the boys be boys. I yeah. think I remember that. But I don't remember any of the other stuff. Here comes the toaster. I'm the lyrical gangster. <laughs> it's a great song. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Rick Lee Smile. <laughs> that sounds like a good dad band. Rick Lee Smile. It really does. Oh, sorry. Just trying to get a slap shot. You're gonna love my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a good situation going on over here.
Dan, what are manageable. you doing? Get out! Dan's the dude who pulls in front of you and then has to like stop and consult his GPS to figure out where the right turn is. He's like, no yeah, one's getting past me. I'll be fucked if someone's gonna get the Costco before me, but... I'm that guy at PAX with an oversized backpack and just stands in the middle of the freaking Dude, he's trying to look over a group of like 400 people to see something happening right in front of him. And yeah. you just want to walk behind him. And every time you try to, he turns his back so you can't. I don't know if I'm helping or hindering us here, Nick, but I'm going to keep it up. I'm, I'm okay with it. We're having trying a little... Keep, uh, got a little. keep the balls in the zone here. You're going to love my nuts. Nice. Just mm -hmm. keep purgatory going there, Dan. That works for me. <laughs> For once, I'm not this, being sarcastic. not going in. It doesn't matter. Get out of here! Oh, no, Dan, how could you? Pepper him with puppers. Ow! Pupper him. Fuck, it did go in. GD! Ooh, they're getting very Plus. spectacular with that. Ow! Oh, Dan from DT! Not the DT. Get out of here. There we go. And Ellen DG. Ooh! Man, this is great music. <laughs> it is, man. I really like it. You guys ever. I mean. Why I with the smashes, right though, man? Don't, don't be condescending to it's it. It's like in Mario Tennis when you see your buddy going up for a purple, you always just get ready to return it with a purple of your own. How about a smash into your own net, huh? How about that? Okay, well, how about a smash into your net here, though? Oh, Why do right. let the boys be boys? Boys? <laughs> hey, that almost ended up being a 10-7 game. Wait, Dan, do you have to... Someone has to eat eight chili oh, ghost peppers Dan, now. Yeah, yeah everyone. We all of our viewers. <laughs> well, I guess thanks for watching Video Ball. <laughs> Enjoy the fiery poops. Let's go one more for all the marbles. You sure? Everyone's yeah. already dead. All right. I'm in. That's fair enough. For winter, all the winter marbles. Gets all the don't first. skip. <laughs> yeah. You know you, you don't want to miss what happens <laughs> in this next two and a half I'll minutes. Never believe it. Yeah. Winner gets a handful of Cersei's. That, that, that doesn't even seem possible. I can't get a, a parody of Surfing USA with the lyrics Cersei Lannister Cersei out of my head. USA. Everybody wants Cersei, Cersei Lannister. <laughs> Dude, someone in the comments after that Dead by Daylight stuff was like, Hey, NL, want me to blow your mind? On that Dire Straits song, Money for Nothing, Sting six, sings the hook. I was like, you think I don't know that shit? What? The guy who sings I Want My MTV? Of course that's Sting. You find the coming realization that Phil Collins is Sting? I mean, I, I don't really understand this Dan, to this day. I mean, one of them did... want to change the bet pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> one of them did Susudio. The other one can have sexual intercourse for 30 hours sessions. You're obsessed with that. <laughs> Wouldn't you be? It's actually a really great talent. It's amazing. Nick's, like, speaking from experience. <laughs> uh, look, I'm not gonna no. say I haven't had sex for 30 hours straight, but if I had, uh, I would definitely be happy at the end of that. What about Cersei, though? I wouldn't be honest. I feel like that's, like, a young man's... That's, like, a young man's ideal. I've got, like, actual work to do. No, I, I aspire to live a life where I have time to have sex for 30 hours. 30 hours? That's just I'm too much, I'm concerned about man. my own stamina, dude. That, I'd get tired. I no, mean, it's you... a good exercise. You're going to be sore, but you're going to be good Well, sore. the problem is, like, that means you're not eating, sleeping, pissing, or shitting, unless, I don't know what you're into, uh, for no, 30 no. hours. That's a long <laughs> time, man. Hey, it's everybody. Thanks for watching Video Ball. Uh, excuse me, Strummer. I brought it in. No, go ahead, Bear. Just no, use a you lot of lube. It. It's yeah, the female anatomy can't sustain 30 hours without a little break. So take your time, be careful, and for God's sake, don't hurt yourself. See, this is why we tell you to wait until the end of the video and don't skip. Because <laughs> without context, it would seem like we just all of a sudden started telling you about the safest way to have sex for 30 hours straight. <laughs> but now that you have the context, you'll understand that you should just follow your heart. Speaking right, of Dan, following now, your heart. Now you can outro. Bear, what was your AOL screen name? Don't do uh, it, don't do it! And your social security number. <laughs>
I'm serious. What was your? Do not do it. End the video. Come Get on. us out of here. It's, Dan, it's our sec It's our two-factor authentication. You can't give that AOL screen name. Dan, Dan, what was the what was the name of the public school you attended? <laughs> what was the name of the street you used to live on? Yeah, what was your Bear, third grade on, teacher? Don't do it, Bear. I don't, Bear. Even, I don't even remember. I I get That's mad when I get mad when people enable Dan no, because then geez. Dan goes further and he feels like he's justified <laughs> in it. So we need to put up a unified front to this. Yeah, but your AOL screen name is not tied to any personal information. I'm gonna Dan, build a you wall. Bring up the goddamn video. Oh, okay, yay! Thanks, guys, for watching. Check out the uh, description below for Saturday Night Fever. They see you later.